I'm Dr. Natalie Crawford, Fertility Doctor, and you've heard me talk about the vault, meaning you're born with all your eggs. Imagine they're inside a vault inside your ovary, and every month you have a group of eggs coming out. The size of that group is dependent on how many are inside. So when you're young, you lose eggs at a faster rate, and as you get older, fewer eggs come out. This is important because the eggs outside the vault are the only ones we can currently get for IVF or egg freezing, so we're limited by our own potential, and that doesn't even account for egg quality or genetics or metabolic factors. Well, this new study just came out showing ribosome dysregulation and intervention age-related infertility, looking at rapamycin as a potential option to add to embryo creation, so to the IVF stimulation. And this study was small, but looked at human participants adding in rapamycin or not, same protocol, and showed more good quality embryos. There was not PGT in this group or this study, but also higher pregnancy rates when they went and used those embryos. And so that's really, really exciting. Rapamycin works by slowing down the recruitment, so potentially having less eggs coming out of the vault over time, so slowing down that rate of loss. But this may be able to extend ovarian longevity, which of course is really exciting if we want to get pregnant, but also as women, the longer we have ovarian function, later we go into menopause, we have improved health outcomes later on because we know estrogen is so important to our health. So this is really exciting. And you guys have already been asking in the DMs, so ask more questions below so we can go over it.